There's a cool coral back there. Can we look at this, please? What are we looking at? Bamboo? This I is think. a bamboo. Yes. And then chat says those mollusks, Aplacoferin coral predator Aplacoferin? mollusks, they burrow inside the holes at the base. Oh, it's a feed on the um, skeleton of the coral. Could we go to the like branching point, please? Nodal looks like. Yeah. That's a healthy looking coral. Yeah, it really is. Um I am I am very surprised how big the polyps can get compared yeah. to shallow water corals. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can get pretty big mm. <laughs> polyps in the shallow water, but usually they're very small. Hmm. Do you think they have to have big polyps, you know, in order to, because there's limited amount of food, you know, so they have to that's grab as much as they can to survive, I'm guessing? That's actually a good explanation for it. Yeah. It will make sense. Yeah, probably has to do with, like, resource partitioning. Right. Um, I would just write Keratoi said nay, nodal. Oh, noted. All right, I think we're good on this. Thank you. And then this is from chat. Um, can you explain nodal versus internodal? What are you looking at to determine? Yeah, so bamboo corals have these um, nodes. <laughs> sections. <laughs> sections. Yeah. They're um, like strips of uh, protein, and that's where they. What are you doing? <laughs> There's something that looks like an S right there. Oh, that does look like an S. Okay, sorry. Yeah, they have um, like protein bands that make them look like bamboo. Um, so we determine if they're nodal or internodal by looking at where they branch. If it branches between two nodes, it's internodal. If it branches at the node, it is nodal. Um, and that can help us to distinguish different coral species, clades. Really? Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And the skeleton between the gorgia. between the sections, what is that? Uh, gorgonin, gorgonin, which is some sort of flexible protein kind of thing. Um, so the the gorgonin is like the the harder protein. Oh, really? The, the white part. And then I actually don't know what the darker part is made of, but I can look that up. Oh, uh, is it? I thought it was like chitin or something like that. I saw on the whiteboard that we were planning on getting off bottom at 9.30, or are we going to try to do 10.30? No, I 10 think 10.30. 10.30, yeah. Yeah, 10.30. Oh, awesome. 
Can't stop now, we're almost to the top. Yes. Yeah, that was what I was thinking, like the waypoint is right there. Yay. <laughs> Samantha wouldn't let us stop before we got to the waypoint. <laughs> My only dream. <laughs> Reaching the end of a dive and actually hitting the waypoint. <laughs> well, to be fair, we didn't go to waypoint four, which is kind of... Oof, bit of a bummer. Bit of a bummer. Okay, yeah, so calcium carbonate skeleton with gorgonin um, bands, the protein. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> this is an interesting... Uh, zoom in, Dave. Chris Gorgia. Or Chris Gorgia, yeah. Um, Future here. Geniculata, I think. Chris Gorgia. Can you get closer? Uh, not for the ID. We're okay. I think there's a squat lobster in there. So carry it on? Yeah. Thank you. I would just call it Chrysogorgia. Another little slope here. Oh, a sponge. Where? Can we zoom oh, on the sponge? Yeah. Same one, huh? Um, Bolosoma. Yep. Yeah, Bolosoma. Noted. Mm. Actually, what does that look <laughs> open at the top? It looks open at the top, but yeah, let's go with Bolosoma. Okay. Thank you. There's something over here. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a st uh, Ophioroid or something. That's interesting. Oh, is it? No fear ride. Yeah, it's a no fear ride. I'm feeling like maybe it's coffee time. Coffee time? Yeah. It's about that time. All right, go get yeah. some coffee. Go for it. Oh, I have right here. I'm very um, happy. Okay. Thank you. Okay, ready for a move? Bridge nav. Three zero meter is one five five. So how are these waypoints chosen? Through ritual and mm -hmm. incantations. <laughs> Actually, no, we, we look at the bathymetry, we figure out a path that kind of conforms with the best way for the ship to move with the weather and hits the kind of morphological features that we think will be productive in terms of sampling biology and geology. Nice. So we didn't go to a, a waypoint four, correct? Correct. Yeah. Why? Why is that? Uh. Well, I'm not entirely sure. I wasn't here when that decision was made, but okay. probably because the weather had laid down enough that the ship didn't need to make 
this kind of series of moves to get to the top of this. But right. Ooh, what wow. is that? Oh, what is that? It's a long stock crinoid. Kind of. It's an unusual orientation. Yeah. It's just looking down. It's a, a depressed crinoid. Oh. <laughs> Sad. Oh, wow. Kind of reminds me of the trees that get hit by snowstorms and then yeah, start growing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And upside down. Can't be that the ophioroids are weighing it down, I don't think. Oh, there's a shrimp on the stock. Oh, there is. Oh, look at that. Shrimp. When you find crinoid fossils, like ancient crinoids, it's mostly the stock that you see, like these oh. little, little uh, cylindrical pieces. Have you guys ever, ever um, sampled it? You guys ever grabbed the, a, a fossil? Yeah, a crinoid fossil. Oh, no, I'm just talking about like on land when you look at like rocks from ancient ah, seas right, and stuff right. like that. Oh, wow. Bellopathy's there on the right. Coming what? Out of frame. What'd you say it was? It looked like an um, umbellopathy's. Oh. I don't know if that's on the list of things to zoom on, but. Where are you looking? Uh, to the right of your lasers. Oh. Zoom in, Dave. Oh, I see. Yep. Good eye, Samantha. That's a hard one to see. Oh. So that's a black coral, and you can see a little bit of the black skeleton exposed at the bottom. Right. Very delicate. Oh, and there's a... a Cup coral? Well, I think it's no, a soft coral. Okay. Hey, Joel, so we have a possible ID. You weren't here, but... Um, I can't believe we saw that whale shark way down yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, I saw everything. I was watching oh, from the lounge. Oh, <laughs> so the umbellopathies. Yeah, you, you saw that red. Um, we have a possible ID from chat. Proisocrinoid. Cool. Yeah, it's something like this. I look depressed, to be oh. honest. Oh. Yeah? That's okay. Oh, and then I think this is a good question. Uh, what is the etymology of the suffix pathies? Hmm. Um, isn't pathies like... I'll look it up. <laughs> Pathos? Yeah, Pathos? like... Mm. 
keep moving. Keep moving. Bridge nav. Three zero meters, one five five. Pathos. Suffering. <laughs> so oh what? No. Oh no. Suffer suffering? What about pathies? Uh, yeah, the, oh. path yeah, different different routes. Oh wait, why does it say? Okay, trying again. Uh, yeah. yeah. Suffering. <laughs> suffering. The, act <laughs> the act of suffering. Unfortunately. Why? Wait, pathy is a p with a Y? Why yeah, S? pathy. P-A-T-H-Y. What about with an S? Uh, yeah, it is with the S too. Yeah, but like, pathy, pathy is like, wait. Suffering underwater? Suffering yeah, on the sea floor. At the how deep? That Hold on. Pathies is probably different. Ooh. Oh, don't get <laughs> falling there. No. No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting much. <laughs> oh, what is the meaning of pathies? P a t h e s. Oh. A route or track between one place and another. That makes more sense to me. Let's say. Um, mildly. Dead bamboo. Yeah, dead whip bamboo with hydroids. With uh, hydroids. This is, I'm wondering what that is. Uh, um, barnacle. I think. A, I think it's big for Can a barnacle. Can we zoom in, Dan? Can we zoom on these? Oh. Nope. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Can we move up a little bit on the coral? Yeah, and zoom on those white bits. Well, I think barnacles. Yeah, barnacles. Oh, there's a. Oh, the I think a coral behind it. It's one we haven't seen lately. Oh, what's this? That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's tiny. <laughs> you picked the hardest thing. To I'm see. sorry. Um, Wait, whoa. We need to break out oh, the microscope. It's crawling. It looks like it maybe is. an amphipod or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, do you think uh, you could do a magnifying glass in the, with a manipulator arm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I now sure I see. Wish. Nice. Okay. Thank you for indulging me. I'm getting pathies as old French or Latin as equals. Hmm. How do you, how are you spelling it? P A T H E. With an S? No. Okay. It would be really funny if one day the Nautilus had like a comedian just narrate our. Why do you think they? Like, what do you out? mean? <laughs> I, <laughs> a comedian? I can't believe you would say that. <laughs> and put Adam out of a job? <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> no, so sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, one, one day I think we should get a great scientist from Puerto Rico, <laughs> you know, to come on the ship. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Adam. <laughs> I'm just a mess. Zoom in, Dave. That was great. <laughs> Keeps him humble. I'll see you, man. Nice. Cool. Ooh. What is that? 
um, at the Mastis. Oh, what? Polychaete. <laughs> What's under the rock there? Some sort of cucumbery. Oh, oh yeah. Let us see it. Ah, no. right there. Zoom in again, Dave. Ooh. What is that? Hmm. Something covered with sediment. Yeah. Is that a sea pen? The, like fall. Right here. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is. It looks like it came from the intestine of a sea cucumber, potentially. Mm. <laughs> well, really? Uh, that's my guess. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, chat says sea cucumber poop trail. Yeah. <laughs> That's the most uh, airtime one of those has gotten in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Guest appearance by yeah. Sea Cum Cucumber Poop Train. <laughs> oh, oh, there. there's Ooh. our pink friend again. Oh, those are cool. What is that called? Polychy. Polychy. Many feet. Is the etymology for that one? Oh, Polly, many, cute foot. Wow, so cute. Cute is covering. Right? Uh, sure. Shrimp. <laughs> I don't know. Diving back into etymology land, standby. Oh, we're getting awfully close to a. Oh, person. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Kita or Kita is from the Greek crest mane flowing hair. Oh. So many bristles. Foot is pod. Never mind. Is that all we got, Dave? That's it. All right. Oh, oh there he goes. There it goes. Thanks for the zoom. <laughs> Adam, is the sand as cool as rocks? No. <laughs> Why is that? Uh. I suppose to some person it might be, but uh, the, I don't know. The sand is, or the sediment is young. So if you want to know about the current ocean, mm -hmm. you know, that's useful. But the rocks are, tell us about the inside of the earth and history of the right. ocean basin. So the sediment's like current events current events yes yeah and it's more like a an aggregator like a news aggregator so it's taking stuff from all over the place mm -hmm. and putting it together current events i see what you did there oh <laughs> that's a good one was that intentional 
current events. Jules is not even paying attention anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I've only just had my first sip of coffee. <laughs> Give me a moment, <laughs> I'll be back. Are these little sponges out here to the right? Oops. Ooh, what is that? Those things. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Reminds me of a xenophilophore. Hmm. It reminds me of like a vertebra. I don't know what that is. I think it's I on a rock, but... Is it pilot? a living thing? <laughs> is it a living thing? <laughs> Great question. Samantha, you said xenophilophores? You know, phylophore, yeah. Phylophores. What's that? They're yeah, what? foraminiferans. Um, which are unicellular organisms that form these kind of um, elaborate structures. Oh. In the using them, um, that kind of trap food for themselves, but also end up getting Mucus. kind of covered. Yeah. In um. Oh, kind of think this actually might be one. Yeah, I think it is too. Yeah. Cool. I've I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. Same. There's another one. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, they're very unusual. Um, and zoom in, dude. Yeah, that's probably another one. I think we've actually been seeing them mm. at times, but we probably thought they were pieces of sponge. They're but just so hidden in the sand. Exactly. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything right now. Can you oh. <laughs> use a telestrator? Yeah. Privileges to we were just on one. We're not looking at one right now. Oh, oh uh, that doesn't look the same. But that one that we first saw that was kind yeah. of stocked was probably one. Yeah, I think I grabbed a picture of it. You're telling me that's a bunch of foraminiferans? No way. Oh! That's really cool. What? That's so strange and awesome. Can we yeah. pan left a little bit? There. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's very impressive. Awesome. Wow. Alrighty then. So that... Oh, oh. The we gotta get to waypoint five. Time's ticking. Mm -hmm. Looks like <laughs> a cast. Yeah, it kinda does. Um... Okay, so... I've I've looked it up because I'm curious. Um, Bridge nav. Xenophyophores are a kind of foraminiferin, <laughs> which are unicellular five, organisms please. that have these um, exoskeletons called tests. Um, and so there's like a bunch of them aggregated, and they extract minerals from their surroundings. That's what they use to, to build those tests. Yeah, so forams of all sorts are what people look at in sediment cores to understand 
paleo oceanographic conditions because they're extracting minerals from the seawater in proportion right. oftentimes to temperature of the seawater and things like that. You zoom in, Dave. Gills, can I see the ID real quick? Or uh, for the Dino Fioforia? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can write it for if you want. That would be great, actually. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a bamboo. It looked the polyps are beautiful. Do you see the branching? I did, I did at some point. Wow, that's Aww. a cool Beautiful. shot. Still can. Come on. That's a great example of polyps open and retracted. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, right next to each other. Oh, uh, can we look it. at a branching point? Can go. Yeah. No. Uh, nodal. There's the node. Can we look at another? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see. I'll never see that one. Yeah, nodal. Caratoy said nay, nodal. Okay, got it. No, oh, thank you. Ship move underway. There's a hall of um, Oh, yeah. You mean, Dave? Oh. Is it oh, feeding? Yeah, that's all part of oh, the same okay. thing. <laughs> that's a Do you think it's slurping end. on some sediment? Yep. 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 Typical. <laughs> <laughs> Classic sea cucumber. Oh, my God. So basic. Wow, you can actually see its internal. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yeah, beautiful coloring. So you can see all the sand it. I wonder why just the mouth is that purple. Ooh. Is that an, an anemone? Looks like it. Might be another tube anemone. Zoom in, Dave. Yeah, that's another tube anemone. We've seen that before. That's the color of cola. Yeah. <laughs> So we don't have internet right now, so I'm doing a manual, manual oh. log. So it might take me a bit more time writing things. But I was aside wondering from what that, was happening. We're good. We can continue. Okay. Oh, man, I lost that. Yeah. Mine's kind of like. We're flying blind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mine is kind of. Yeah. 
Okay, it's back. Yay! Awesome. Zoom in, Dave. Parrot, Gorgia, and I don't know, bamboo or norella. Mm. And also a black coral. Do you see, see any? any? No. I think that's Norella. Nice. Yeah. Is that? Is that a black coral? I think that's a black coral behind it. I think it's Bathypathies. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Can we actually just glance at that one too? Yeah. I actually wonder if that one's Hemi Corallium. I think that's Hemi Corallium. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. Fancy, Ooh, what is that? Fancy anemone. What <gasps> are the white things? I wonder that's what's going to happen oh. right now. Oh, it's a, they're Nothing. in different planes. <laughs> I saw the ID for that one a couple of minutes ago. Cool. Carry on. Yep. Is this the top? Not yet. One more move. Ooh. We're almost there. <laughs> looks Could pretty, be the top. Looks pretty toppy. Sure does. We're just not at the waypoint. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but so are wise. We're, we're up there. All right, I am going to want to rock from up here. Roger. Bridge, Nav. Do uh, two zero meters, one five five, please. Probably want to just explore a little bit, see where we might be able to grab something. Great. Are you set down, Robert? Yeah. All right, we can go for that one. Oh, you want, we're not going to go up to the very top? We'll get there. Well, Don't I just worry, we'll get to the next waypoint. Put in a move, so. I thought we were trying to get to the very top before we got a rock. She put in a move. Oh, OK. All right, we'll go. That's fine. She okay. gave it a move. <laughs> Okay, just remember this so we come back to this <laughs> exact we rock. To All right, I know. We're not there yet. I feel I mean, like we are, but we're yeah, I feel like we're we're. We just we just like got to the surface. We want to go to like the middle of the knoll. Middle of the top. Okay. Yeah. okay. We're getting a waypoint. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna try. Can we uh, stop that ship? Move five meters before the yeah. waypoint. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now we're past the last contour. This is the top top. Tippity top. But now there's nothing to grab. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll take the blame geez. if there's nothing to grab. <laughs> mm -hmm. What, this thing? Yeah. This thing? We're just looking at that thing. I think it's another one of those Xeno Xeno fours or Xeno. Did I say that right? Fio. Fio four. I'm trying to look up etymology, but I think we're still internet down. Can we zoom in, Dave? Oh, oh, it's back. I 
I'd say that is another Xeno 504. Yep. Isn't that neat? Does it have like a worm on top of it? That's an overhead. Brittle star? Oh, oh, brittle star, there we go. Oh. Paola does not have her glasses today. <laughs> I don't have my glasses today. <laughs> Did you it's find like, your glasses? Where are we? <laughs> I am ashamed to say that my glasses are right behind me. Oh, they are. Oh, what? I forgot to what put are them you on. doing? It's okay. You, we're we're almost off. to the top. <laughs> Xeno 504 comes from a smattering of Greek words meaning the bearer of foreign bodies. Ah. Foreign bodies in question may be grains of sand, bits of debris, broken remains of dead organisms. Yeah, Xeno definitely means foreign. First discovered by science in the late 19th century. There's uh, one of them soft corals. Mm. Yeah, Anthemastus. Anthemastus. Some Xeno 504s can grow up to be 20 centimeters in diameter, about the size of a basketball. Oh, wow. But most are small. Neat. Hmm. Yeah. Ship move is stopped. Ship move is done. The ship is stopped. <laughs> we can do one more move if you'd like, or we can look around here. We didn't get very far with the move. Uh, we can do a little exploring. Okay. There's a sponge. Oh, yeah. Can we look at the sponge? Zoom in, Dave. Um. Oh, what's this? Hyalanema, possibly. You'll get no argument from me. interesting. <laughs> Is it like a like cylindrical? It kind of looks like it here. Uh, you can't see it there. Yeah, it doesn't look like it from here, but it, I can't really tell Do what the shape is. Do we need a new angle? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be great. We have some IDs coming in, Jules. Oh, great. What are people saying? Again, polyopogon. Oh, okay. And then another one, oh, well, can't be hyalonema. A polyopogon.
kind of a uneven surface. Sort of pear shaped, it looks like. Yeah. Mm. Pear sponge discovered here. Cool. Is that good or do we need? I think, I don't think we're going to get more on this, do you? No, we're good. Um, yeah, someone in the chat suggested it's another uh, polio pogon. Oh. What do we think it is, Jules? I think it's a polio -gon. Uh, yeah, polyopagon. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Good evening over here, catching your fancy. Some loose rocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Adam. Yeah, yeah. This this guy over here, <laughs> to your left. <laughs> Never hear the end of it. Ending it. Like you're giving like directions <laughs> in a car. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, now that I see it, I'm not so enthralled, but we can see <laughs> if it's loose. Which in? No, that's big. <laughs> <laughs> is that big? Oh, yeah, look at that. That is pretty darn big, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I think we got some sea pens behind it, too. Uh, oh. Do, do, do. You don't want any of these little no, rubbly bits. No, those ones are too small. Next. What about over there? Yeah. That's got some potential. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, any of those guys, maybe that one up there. You want to poke a bit? Yeah, let's see if any of these are loose. Could I got this still can. Oh. Oh, wow, that's a sick shot. It is. It kind of looks like a crazy car. You're the expert. I agree with you. Don't you agree? Also, like ice gorges don't usually grow in sediment. Maybe it's on the rock. Oh, really? Oh. Hi. Nope. That one's loose. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Ooh. Here we go. Get a bite on it. Oh, oh. oh. oh the crust. Too, too bitey. Pick the one that has the tooth in the middle. Tooth in the middle of it? <laughs> yeah, we hmm. need another megalodon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. of interest uh yes we yes we might how big is that 10 centimeters yep. yeah we might get one more from this area right. we can stick them both in the same any ideas what might be inside uh I sure hope yep. it's yes right. yeah, basalt but oh, okay this would be sample 082. 082, thank you. It's kind of wild to me that you, like, you just, you have to pick a rock and, like, you don't know until I it's up know. here. It's until not, you cut it I open. not ideal. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, okay. Yep. 
adds a, another challenge. One of the big ones? Yeah, we only have, yeah, the bigs. F. Both of them are open. F, okay. I think you can leave it out. Yeah, leave it out so yep. we can stick one more in there. All right, swap them back to dive. What? Yeah. yeah. something bigger or? no about the same size that one right uh, right under yeah where you're going that looks good it's, not oh, no, it's too small too small too small no that's good Can we give it a spin real quick? Thank you. Okay. All right. Yep. This would be sample 083. Can we put it on the E box just to make sure we have them separate? Well, I thought this was all the same. Oh, I put them a separate sample, sorry. You want them in the same box or different box? Same box is fine. Same box? Same box. Is it the same sample, Adam? Same sample. Okay, great. Okay, science. Do we have other uh, sampling needs up here? Well, we could attempt uh, a push core in one of these sandy areas or sedimenty areas. Yeah. You want to give it a shot? Sure. Same site, Adam? Well, not right in front of us, but like there's a sandy no. area off to the side there. Yeah. Swap back to sample. Yeah, hang on, let me get get around the horn here. Any tube cores been done yet? No, they're all open. Want a bigger camera? Yeah. yeah. Can you push it out a little bit?
switch them back to dive. Which, what? Uh, the most forward. Over here, maybe? I think go a little further out into this area. Maybe not too far, yeah. <laughs> Are you here? Yeah, yeah, I think that looks good. All right. Some bioturbation there. All right, any bets how far this is going to go <laughs> in? Halfway. <laughs> Halfway, you think? I think all the way. Uh, yeah, three quarters. It's going all the way. Can you zoom in, Dave? It's gonna go. Looks like three, all the way to three quarters. Three quarters <laughs> is the winner. <laughs> I haven't finished yet. Oh. <laughs> I, just, I don't want to move around too much. It's going to bust through here. Uh huh. Thank you. <laughs> Three quarters, though. You win a two pack of <laughs> Ritz crackers. Ooh, yeah. I'll take that. Do, do I get paid out right now? Uh, right after the watch. Oh, no. Nice. I go for a two pack of Ritz crackers. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a some sort of prison prize. <laughs> <laughs> really? Probably the crackers Ritz? go with the soup, right? Training right. packs. It's a good one, though. No, it's good. It hangs in there. Swap over the sample. Hang on. Okay. This will be sample A three zero A three. Go ahead. Don't don't uh, okay. don't give us a okay. number yet. Go for okay. it. Okay. Go for it. Fingers crossed. Bump out. Yeah. Bump out. Stay in there. Uh, oh, 
man. I should have gone for more of a bump. Go for a bump, go for a bump. Uh, I lost it. Uh, try again and shake it out. It does look like pretty sticky stuff. That's good. Yeah. Maybe we'll go for a side side jab here. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Can you bump in a little bit? Yeah. Can't see very good. You have the camera here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, can you send it up and zoom on it? Yeah, I have to go back to dive. In seconds. Oh, there. That ain't, that ain't helping me. No, no, up, <laughs> up here. That's... Okay, back to zoom. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. It's like trying to right, take a push for... With your uh -huh. hands trapped behind your back. Get in there. Uh. What do we think? Did we get it? Only one way to know. Here we go. <laughs> Three quarters. I love that shadow. That's so co fucking cool. That's cool. Bump out. Yeah, out. in the hole. Yes. Let's go. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Let's do one more side poke. Be same sample number? Uh, different sample? I don't know. I think, I think probably different. different. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think so to have two different places. Okay. So is that different? Different numbers. Thanks. Okay, we bump in. Yep. See what I'm doing here. Uh, this one's no good. Are you trying to grab that without being able to see it? <laughs> <laughs> you got it in this one camera on the I know, but I'm not sure that really counts as being able to see it. 
Yeah, it's... What are you talking about? Oh. <laughs> it's, it's literally like having your hand behind you and trying to do this and grab something. <laughs> If you do grab that, yep, I'm going to be super impressed. All right, should we start bumping out now? Yeah, bump out, bump out, bump out. Did we get anything? Yeah, looks like it. Uh, kind of meat. about half. Kind of meat. Whoa, whoa, stop. <laughs> ah. Uh -oh. Nah. That's too far. I can't see now. Yeah. It's all gone. No, it's Mama, no, 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 we got some still. There's a little in there. All right, let's. Let's go. Yeah, nice. This. <laughs> 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 this. I think we sh we could call it a day. It's <laughs> <laughs> like right at the end of the dive. <laughs> two. Uh, two I know. Side it's, this is like ROV <laughs> tricks, you know. Like, look, I can. Tie a bowl in with the... Yeah. <laughs> Eyes closed. <laughs> okay. That sample 084. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Three minutes left, science. What do you got for us? Uh, oh, we course didn't need a 15-minute yeah. rock sample again. Yeah, right. Now it's when we start <laughs> excavating, because there's one yeah, just switch. under... The sediment like that the I want. <laughs> yeah. Come on up. Have you here. You're not going to do, cool. like, use the slurp with your left hand or something? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think Magnum's being very uncooperative this evening. It's, like, it's in a limp, hanging oh, out there mode. Oh. <laughs> Did we try and, like, turn up the speed on that one? Is, that, is that a thing? Can that be done? Um, yeah, you can. I don't know where it stands right now, but... Its problem currently is the shoulder is not budging up at all. So it's like huh. it doesn't, it's all sagged down. And yeah, sad. Uh. We'll have to <laughs> mention that when they recover it. It'll be sticking out. Yeah. <sighs> it is where it is. It's up above the porch though, right? It won't be a problem yeah, for setting it the down. The wrist still works, but okay. the shoulder's in up. Hey. All right, time to go. One one minute left. <laughs> Do you want to get to waypoint five, Samantha? Just sit right on top it's of it. Too late. <laughs> A second push car, man. We'll never know. We'll never know. <laughs> What's <We're laughs> happening? <coming couples? laughs> I like to do a little pirouette before we... Donut out of Can here. Can you do a little yeah. dance? <laughs> we coming up, so? No, I got to get in tow mode. Uh, yeah, tow you, mode. Get, tow you mode. can start coming up. I think auto had enough. Whoa, oh, look at those patterns. Yeah, he did a donut or two. <laughs> <laughs> sea cucumber donut. <laughs> Ugh. That's what? Would not be delicious. And the world cucumber is Cucumber donut. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the healthiest donut ever. <laughs> Too healthy. <laughs> Forbidden donut. Okay, are we off bottom officially? Off bottom.
Hey, Dwight, if you're listening in the lounge, I got your seat warmed up up here. <laughs> Dwight's coming up? Yeah. He said he can relieve me. Oh. You got plans? You got social plans? Uh, plans to not be here for the blue water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know how much <laughs> Dwight loves midwater organisms. Yeah. Do you have him pre-cued with jokes as well? Yeah. <laughs> I think I changed my mind. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, no. Atalanta and Hercules walk That's into my a fault. bar. Uh, that's my fault. Sorry. Duck Frog is happy. Yep. Yeah. Happy we're coming up. Uh, <laughs> no, I'll come up in a minute. Okay, we're doing right? USBL. TJ, hit the recover salvo again, would you? I screwed that up. Thank you. Okay. Right. We're resetting our USBL. Uh, we're coming up. Well, we do have a question from chat. Are the seamounts we're exploring considered active, dormant, or extinct, volcanically speaking? Or is it that, or is that unknown? Uh, they are extinct. Oh. Yeah, they, okay. volcanoes in this area last erupted 30 million years ago. Whoa. 30 million, wow. Thank you. That's older than me. <laughs> That's even older than me. <laughs> <laughs> even older than me. <laughs> well, eight to twelve. What did you guys think of the dive? Pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah, some good, good stuff. Seven mm -hmm. out of ten. Sites were okay, but the company was grand. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of, a lot of etymology. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. That's true. Did we? That's true. Oh my gosh. We did. We earlier. had. We did. We did the word. Oh of the day. my. We did. I can't remember yeah, what it was. This but morning. It was the, it oh was yeah. Zest. Flavaldo or. Yeah. Flavaldo. That was Flavaldo. today. Flavaldo. Uh, that seems like ages ago. <laughs> right. Chat. We we are no, expected wait. to launch the vehicles again at sixteen hundred Monday. Yeah, tomorrow. don't. Oh no, you don't waste our word for tomorrow. Oh, oh, I didn't know. I saw it. It's I over. did too. Wait, what? It's over. I don't know what it means though. You do? Okay. Yes, you do. You've that heard counts. that word before. Have I? Uh huh. Oh. I'm not. I'm guessing. Bridge now. Okay. Did you go to Catholic school? No. Did you? <laughs> did you? <laughs> Uh, hey Bridge, no. we've uh, started our ascent I mean, with a recovery time of 2400 midnight. Ooh, midnight. Thanks. Is the word parochial? No. Oh. No. But it does have religious connotations. Ah, okay. Mm. All right, Chief. Ooh. <laughs> Guys, I gotta go. <laughs> okay. How did you get out of midwater? I don't know, blue water, huh? right? <laughs> Take it So we're hoping to launch again tomorrow yeah, at 1600 soon. I believe this will be a different location and that it, it'll be a deep dive. Okay. I want to do some awesome. deck work. Thanks for staying with us. Thanks for tuning in. Are you talking about 
gentlemen, don't forget to check out our YouTube. We've uploaded our highlights from our previous dives, including the spiral, iridogorgia, coral, taller than the ROV Hercules. Ooh. And the balloon-like, volitanid octopus. I don't know if I'm spelling that right. Also, this region um, has been nominated to become a national marine sanctuary. So the information and the data that we are collecting informs that process. Not only that, your questions and your comments are just as important. So please head over to nautiluslive.org for more information and yes. nautil.gov. Okay. Thanks for staying with us, chat. You guys are amazing. I don't have steel toe boots, but I heard yeah, they were in Hey guys. Hello. Hey, I'm not Adam our, Sewell. Our expedition lead Howdy. is sitting in for our Adam Sewell. <laughs> Hi Annie. Do we have some Hi, audience? Dwight. Do we have some listeners? Yeah, we to have our a radio lot. Show? <laughs> How many people are, are watching right now? A lot. We have oh. a lot of new viewers tuning in too. So um, let's see. All over the United States, Germany, the UK, Spain, Canada, Australia. Netherlands, Sweden, Philippines, Norway, Maldives, Japan, Israel, wow. Hong Kong, Finland, and Belgium. Whoa. Excellent. Cool. You guys are awesome. Thanks for staying with us. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, I have a fun question. I am curious. So, if you guys were to, if you were to choose to be one mythological creature what would that mermaid be? Oh. oh really <laughs> mermaid <laughs> um yeah sure that was really fast if you yeah that was really <laughs> fast <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't that be so cool i guess i was thinking yeah. of the mermaid movie too. yeah and all the conspiracy how about aquaman? <laughs> aquaman aquaman oh aquaman. right right not really mythological, but, you know. Yeah. There must be an equivalent in mythological creatures. King Neptune. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wow, okay. How about you, Paula? I don't know. I might go with Jules to be a mermaid. Yeah. Oh, mermaid? Yeah. Yeah. Same. Like a happy lifestyle. <laughs> Just swimming around. Mm-hmm. Probably see a whale shark. Yeah, probably. Today I saw a video of a whale shark on Instagram and it was like trying to catch bubbles. It's a sign. It's like biting at bubbles. Isn't that so cute? Trying no, to it catch just means bubbles? my phone is listening. Yeah. So manatees, their scientific name is, um, are they with the family Sirenidae, which yeah. in Spanish is Sirena, and that means mermaid Sirena? because. They usually confuse them with mermaids in the... Uh -huh. Manatees are so adorable. They are. They're yeah. really cool. I love manatees. I don't know how you would confuse a manatee with a mermaid, but they put it in the name. So at some point, they thought about it. Hmm. Are there manatees in Puerto Rico? I don't think Yes, so. we oh, have a lot oh, of them. Really? Oh, really? Oh, yes. wow. On my last dive before coming here, we saw one on the oh, nurseries. Wow. It was That's really so cool. cool. I've seen them all over around Florida. Yeah. Oh. oh. They're thinking of creating two subspecies, one for Florida and one for oh, really? the Caribbean. Oh, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Puerto Rico is a beautiful island. I've done a few projects out of there. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Have you been um, in San Juan or more to um, Magueyes? Yeah, in and out of San Juan mostly, but um, I vacationed a little bit on uh, like near Rincon and uh, I love Rincon. La, La Pagueta. La Pagueta, yeah. La Pagueta, yeah. That's uh, the south part. Phosphores Phosphorescence Bay, yeah. You saw the fluorescent I, yeah, bay? Yeah, I went out there one time. It was beautiful. Yeah. Oh, fluorescent That's bay? Amazing. Yeah, we have one of the 
most beautiful bioluminescent base. Oh my gosh. In the world. Amazing. Really oh. cool, yeah. Hi, um, okay, thank you. And I you. also went snorkeling out at um, Desacheo. This is, I've not even gone there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that's amazing. We were with um, scuba divers mostly, but we just had oh, snorkeling wow. here, so it was fun. Whoa, that's really cool. I've been told this show is beautiful. Yeah, it was. It was really cool. Saw barracuda and barracuda. Yeah, I was a little intimidated by them. <laughs> They're big. Yeah. There are a lot of legends around barracudas and sharks in Puerto Rico. Oh, really? Can you tell us one? Okay, so in San Juan, there's this very big barracuda. They call her, what's the name? It was a very scary name, like witchy name. I don't oh. remember now. In Culebra, where I work, there's, they call her La Reina del Sur. It means the queen of the south. And it's this really great hammerhead shark that wow. can be seen every few years through the, uh, the small plane that goes between right. the islands. So it's like a 20 feet uh, oh, great wow. hammerhead. Really? 20 feet? That's amazing. Yeah, it's a really wow. big hammerhead. So even till now, that's huh. that's still going on, or can they it's still the same not? One, same one? They yeah, see? so far it's the same one. I mean, wow. it's the only one that's, that's big enough to be seen from an airplane. Yeah. But it's a legend. That's huge. That's that's a, 20 uh, feet. It's a legend that multiple f uh, fishermen and some tourists have seen. Not yet scientifically <laughs> confirmed. <laughs> Might keep some people away from. Yeah. Is that, you said on the way to Culebra. Yeah. 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 I've never been there, but I've heard stories. It's an interesting place. Yeah. 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 Do, Do you, you work out there? The what? Do you work out there? Yeah, yeah. we have the coral nurseries there. It's right. really fun. Is there a ferry that goes there as well, or just the plane? <laughs> oh, the ferry. Just we usually take the ferries yeah. cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. How about Vieques? Can you go there? I haven't yet, and I do want to go there. Yeah, I'd love to go there, too. They have a bioluminescent bay, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I really need to visit those fluorescent bays. Like, I'm looking at one right like, bro. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> it looks like an av from an Avatar movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And apparently the the more toxic the water is, I mean the dirtier it is, <laughs> the like, more a like the more luminous luminescence you what? get. Like oh. <laughs> when the levels are high, like you cannot go into the water. There's a lot of bad nutrients going right. around that's mm -hmm. when they thrive but wow. oh wow but people still do people i do people still go swim they people, they, 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 they don't encourage people to swim usually it's more kayaking and paddle ah, and okay stuff. okay it's so pretty yeah. So Culebra was part of a Navy base a couple of years back. And they, I think the soldiers got bored because there was no, we don't have in Puerto Rico big wildlife like in the States. Oh. So they started bringing deers. So now we have a deer population oh. in Culebra. <laughs> just going around. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess they wanted to hunt it. That's um, interesting. We have a deer problem. Do you have a deer problem? Um, they don't do much. Okay. Oh, really? But w why would you have a deer problem? What There's an they? overpopulation, at least in Massachusetts. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's not great for the environment. Yeah, Rhode Island, too. Yeah. Oh. Why are they bad for the environment? Do they, I mean, if they're overpopulated, makes sense. They're eating all the vegetation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So I'm assuming hunting f these deers are encouraged, yeah? Yeah. Um, yeah, there's there's not a limit 
on like how oh. many you can hunt. Oh wow! Um, because okay. they do want to try to control the population because it it hurts the the ecosystem if you if you don't try to control it to some extent. Right. Do deers have natural predators in that area? Um. There's coyotes. Like coyotes. Mm -hmm. coyotes. Yeah, but they don't really. They, coyotes mostly eat rabbits and things. I think. Yeah. Not so much deer. Maybe now and then they, they get a deer, but. Okay. I. I think I heard that a part of the issue is that there used to be more wolves, and they've been right. pushed ah. out. And yeah. wolves would oh. eat larger things yeah. like deer. Yeah. Um, That's very interesting. Yeah. Yellowstone is a really great case study for um, like reintroducing wolves. Um, once they reintroduce wolves, um, the deer population went down and brush started to grow back and that supported other um, herbivores. Um, and then, yeah, it was, it was just sort of like a cascade of of events. Yeah. It actually led to like like better flow in the river even, which is like wow. wild. That just like one one species can do all of that. That's crazy. One animal. Yeah. So they're they're called like or referred to as keystone species. Keystone species. Yeah. Right. That's awesome. Are werewolves critically endangered or something? The, yeah, the gray wolf, I think, was. Oh, <laughs> I thought you said werewolf. <laughs> wolves? <laughs> no wolves. Yeah. Yeah. No, I heard, uh, uh, yeah, slightly werewolves, I thought. I heard werewolves, so, so I was like. <laughs> I actually They're forgot very how endangered. <laughs> <laughs> I actually forgot how to pronounce wolf, so I was like, wolf. <laughs> wolf? <laughs> Sorry. Werewolf. Um, that would be funny. Hmm, that's a good question. <laughs> um, Let me look that up. I would certainly think in, in some areas, at least. Oh, eh, no, it says they are of least concern. They have a stable population. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Um, oh, wait, hold on. They There were some problems with reintroducing them. I guess the, farmer, oh. the farmers weren't too happy about it. OK, hold on, hold on. Um, in other news, gray wolf recovery news and updates from U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Um, in 2022, gray wolves in 48 states in Mexico um, are now protected under the Endangered Species Act, are oh. as threatened in Minnesota and endangered in the remaining states. Oh, wow. Okay, yes, so gray wolves are endangered. Um, <laughs> no. On the whole, <laughs> wolves in general, I guess, are okay. You're okay, but those specifically. Um, huh. I've never seen a wolf in person. Yeah, neither have I. Do you have like a big wildlife in American Samoa, Annie? <laughs> Yeah, you do? No. <laughs> no, we do have a very tropical, but we don't have like snakes, alligators, you know, like what uh, Florida has, which I'm really grateful. <laughs> I'm really grateful, like poisonous spiders, like, you know, like Australia. No, we don't have any of that. And I'm, I'm happy. I'm really yeah. happy about it. But we do have, but a lot of, um, we have this one species of birds. They're invasive. They're, oh. Yeah, now they're just running rampant. Yeah, they're just flying everywhere. Yeah, we're trying to control the, I forgot the name, but we're trying to control the numbers. Um, Let's check. But one of our main birds is called the Lupe. There's many songs about um, the Lupe. That's It's rare, it's endangered in American Samoa now. You don't see it anymore. Yeah, so it's oh, this wow. one. Oh, that's yeah. so beautiful. So you don't see the Lupe anymore in American oh. Samoa, but there's so many um, songs. Oh, that's yeah. so beautiful. Yeah. 
I think there were a lot of bats in Samoa. That yeah, we have a lot of fruit yeah, bats. Fruit bats. And yeah. we have this uh, this pet owl and our friends. Um, no way. Called Bob the Lulu. <laughs> oh, it's a barn <laughs> owl. Yeah, so he's it, he's blind, but yeah, we just when we go to the beach, our friends bring him. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's very unique. I have uh, an unfortunate update on the wolf situation. Um, in okay, so the ESA delisted um, gray wolves as endangered species, um, and there was a decline of about thirty percent in the year leading up to April twenty twenty one. So people are are working to get them back on the endangered species oh. list. Yeah. So. Not so good. Not so great. But we like wolves. Wolves are great. Important part of the environment. I do have a question. Um, so, Mr. Coleman. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh -oh. Has anybody? No, no, no. I was just wondering because this is like a cultural thing, yeah. and so I always try to. I always. Like ever since the expedition started, I've been trying to figure out like how to address you because you are the expedition the expedition lead. Right. Um, have you ever been called like boss man or <laughs> boss or Mr. <laughs> Coleman? No, no, seriously, because. <laughs> yeah, I get called boss man. Okay, back, what, are, back are you at home? Not really. <laughs> okay, on the ship. but are you comfortable with that? Because <laughs> culturally, as a Samoan, I I can't call you by your first name because okay. that's for. In our culture, if I call you by your first name, sure. it's disrespectful. Oh, okay. And I, I, I can say the same for um for everyone here. Right, right. Uh, yeah, so I was wondering, <laughs> like, <laughs> what should we do? Okay? Sure. Yeah, if boss <laughs> man, or even if I just Mr. Waters, you know, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I was wondering, like, are you okay with that? Because, yeah, sure. culturally, it's just every time I try to say, oh, hello, Dwight, good morning, yeah, yeah. Dwight, I'm like, Oh, uh, you're fine. Okay. I get it. So, sure. Uh, Dr. Coleman's fine. Mr. Coleman's okay. fine. Okay. Um, expedition leader. I don't know. Um, whatever you're comfortable with. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's, um, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> the Brenner bird is... I'm not really the boss. My job really is working for all of you. So you're all my boss. <laughs> my job is to make it all smooth and give everybody their chance to uh, shine, you know? Yeah, you know, like, and that's great, but like, mm -hmm. yeah, how I was, I guess. <laughs> no, everyone, this is this is how we work as a team. It's right, right, right. We're, right. We're, we're doing great things out here. It's not easy. That's true. But we have such a good team, they make it look easy, you know? Yep. They do have a really great team. Great watch. Yes. It's Best a tall. Watch. Let's go. <laughs> Hopefully everyone's caught up on their sleep and... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, have you heard our conversation today? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sometimes I remember oh, yeah. that I people can hear us in the lounge, and I'm like, oh. I listen always. <laughs> <laughs> well, my door is open. <laughs> it is the one cabin that, unlike the lead scientist cabins, that uh, we don't have a um, monitor in cabin nine. So that's kind of good. But the lounge is right there. <laughs> <laughs> Brown tree snake. I'm sure Adam adds a lot of entertainment value to your watch. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Not too many scientists on this watch with us. Sure. No. We're kind of quiet. It is Memorial Day weekend. Oh, oh yeah, yes, yes, that's right. Let's give them a pass. They'll start tuning in tomorrow, probably, and so Tuesday.
Will you be making it to American Samoa next year? Hopefully. Oh, I hope so. Yeah. Um, I think the Nautilus will be there for quite a few expeditions. So I'll um, oh. most likely. I'm not sure yet. We, we will. Really, yeah. We haven't really talked really? about staffing for those projects yet, but mm. I imagine I'll be there once. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I was Actually, like. Because last time um, I got on the Nautilus in American Samoa. Um, no, we got on in Western, in, uh, in, in, um, uh, what do you call it? Western, Western Samoa, Samoa or yeah, International yeah. Samoa, I can't remember the proper way to call it. Um, and then we sailed over the International Dateline, so we went back in time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I lost a day or something. Yeah, no, yeah, you're right. And then I never, no. we never spent a whole lot of time on shore. We were kind of on the ship and, um, we didn't stay in a hotel or anything, so I really didn't get to see much of the island at all. Oh, okay. Um, so that was kind of a quick trip for me, but maybe next year. Yeah. Yeah, I was telling everyone, like, whenever you guys are down in American Samoa, yeah. <laughs> just like, you know, get ready to eat some um, urchin and yes. <laughs> bololo. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. I'll show you guys around the island, and I'm always, um, I'm always hoping for my friends just to visit American Samoa. Like, yeah. don't so even worry about anything. I got you. <laughs> What's the hotel we always go to? Sadie's. Well, oh, the Sadie's by the sea? Yeah, yeah, oh, it's, yeah. it's the only <laughs> hotel that could fit all of us. Oh, <laughs> first up, yeah. oh yeah, and it's yeah. close by too. Yeah. Is that Pago Pago? Pago? Yeah. Pago Pago, yeah, and it's walking distance from the port. Right, right. Annie, have you spent any time on any of the other islands? Um. Western Samoa and oh, I mean, no, or I islands within American Samoa. Yeah, um, well, Aunu'u, that's where my dad's um, chief title is from. Oh, wow. So we go there. Um, but I haven't been to Manua in Western Samoa yet because my parents were strict <laughs> with me growing up. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, but hopefully uh, we'll make it down there, me and my twin, this year. Awesome. Yeah. You have a twin? Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know that. Twin. Yeah. She's like, I'm the social one. She's not. Okay. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. but, but she's she's cool. She she's always tuning in. Is she Her name watching? is Lottie. Lottie. Huh? Is she watching right now? Yeah. Oh no, not right now. Oh, okay. She's watching Little Mermaid. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Fair enough. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Hopefully, you guys Similar. get to meet her. You'll have to bring her by the ship if uh, if we're COVID safe next year. Oh yeah, yeah. she said she she's planning on applying. She just she missed the date. That's uh, why. So. Oh good. Annie, the main island is Tutuila. Yeah, Tutuila. Yeah. yeah. Is she also a teacher? She's also a teacher. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Marine science. Same. Yeah. Same. Same subject we teach. Wow. We tried in college. We tried separating, and we told we. I said to her, um, okay, you do your own schedule. I'm going to do my own, and then we'll compare it after. We literally did our own schedules. We came back about two hours later. We chose the same classes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we ended up sticking with the same. Yeah, we ended wow. up sticking with the same major, marine wow. science. Yeah. That's, <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. Would you guys want a twin? Yeah? Does everyone want to have a twin? No. <laughs> Ever wished for a twin? I have a younger sister ah. that I'm really close with. So, I don't know. I feel like we're we're similar, but we're also different in a lot oh. of ways. And I like that. So. Are you close to her? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's great. She's probably sleeping um. right now. <laughs> <laughs> She's definitely sleeping right now. <laughs> it's 5 a.m. Yeah, you know, my grandmother is like she's has a twin, mm -hmm. so maybe at some point in the lineage we might be able to uh, twins, I guess. Mm. But oh. I have a sister too, so that's nice. Yeah, <laughs> the next best. No, I'm kidding. She's great. <laughs> <laughs> How old's your sister? She's four years younger. She's okay. A sophomore year. Okay, cool. College. Yeah. What is she studying? She's studying business administration. Wow. wow. Yeah. She tried biology <laughs> just one semester and she was out. Yeah. That's <laughs> this actually, not for me. that's what my sister did. She oh, really? started out with biology and now she's studying um, business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was a sad day for me. I was really hoping she would stay in biology. Yeah. 
but she dives too and she oh, surfs wow. a lot in Puerto Rico. That's awesome. Like she's now like learning to walk on the t surfing table. Wow. That has a name. I don't know <laughs> the, the techniques. <laughs> But she showed us a video and that was really cool. That's crazy. Yeah, my mom is really scared for her, but <laughs> <laughs> she's living her best life. So when you asked to to do like surfing in Hawaii, mm -hmm. I've tried surfing. My sister has tried teaching me how to surf. That that's just not a skill I possess <laughs> at all. We're going to do it. We're going to learn. Yeah. We're going snorkeling with sharks. Yes. That and then we're going to go exciting. surfing. Waikiki is probably a great place to learn because yeah. it's pretty yeah. gentle waves, you know? True. Okay, that's good to know. Okay. Get a Waikiki. long board. That's probably be pretty easy. Yeah. Are you sticking around after expedition I yeah stay in for a few days um i don't think so uh -oh, okay. i'll be back here in august right oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay are you going to go to one of the other islands or thinking about it yeah that'd be really cool yeah, it's hard to decide like what to see because there's so much. Right. Yep. Um, Big yeah. Island is my favorite. Yeah, Big I Island. agree. Yep. I agree. I agree with. It's very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Any suggestions? Like, what do I need to see while I'm here? That's a good one. I've never been to the Big Island, but Maui is pretty cool, and uh, Kauai is pretty mm -hmm. cool. Uh, Big Island has uh, like five different climates and uh, <laughs> right, no, no, yeah, oh. you're right. Yeah. If you drive around the island, you'd start out in uh, you know, it's just volcanic wasteland, looks like the moon, uh, and then you drive up north uh, around Javi, mm -hmm. and uh, that's a cool little artist colony, uh, former uh, sugarcane plantation wow. area, a little town with lots of little shops and mm -hmm. uh, and that kind of stuff. And then as you drive across the top of the island, it looks more like uh, Montana. Uh, it's very <laughs> open, uh, grazing land, cattle, uh, that kind of stuff. And then mm -hmm. as you head down uh, towards uh, Hilo side, uh, then it's more jungly and more rainforest and wetter. Uh, and, and then Hilo's a, a nice town. Uh, I didn't spend too much time in Hilo. Uh, mm. we, we drove through and had lunch, but uh, then you go up to um, uh, Volcano National Park, mm -hmm. uh, and you can go in the National Park, and you can't really get to the uh, uh, to the volcanoes uh, anymore, but you can you can see steam vents and and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, but you can't really see lava. Mm. You've got it all closed off since the eruption. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, that was recent, then, right? Then you can go down around the uh, bottom of the island uh, and uh, drive to uh, Captain Cook, and drive down to South Point, uh, Ooh, Green yeah. Sand. Green Sand Beach yeah. is down that way. Oh, yeah, I really want to see that. And uh, and then you come back around to Kailukona, and uh, that's a little town uh, and, you know, a bunch of hotels and, and that kind of stuff. And, uh, Great. Wow. Bars. Bars and restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> kind of touristy. Yeah. And then, and then to complete the circle, if you go back up uh, towards the, the north again, uh, <laughs> past, up past the airport, then that's the uh, Waikoloa. Uh -huh. uh, area and there's uh, there's public beaches and uh, some diving areas that kind of stuff. There's diving areas all around the island too for snorkeling. I can put yeah, and that kind it's of a great stuff. description of yeah. Big Island right there. And then uh, and then if you go, I've spent a bunch of time there. And then you know then it's kind of the across the middle of the island is the Saddleback Highway, uh, mm -hmm. the Daniel Inouye Highway uh, that goes in between the two volcanoes. Jelly, and uh, that's really cool too. No jelly in the porch cam. Yeah, you should visit um, South Point. How do you feel about yeah. cliff jumping? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Um, <laughs> no, because so that's how that's how we would like spring break and our available yeah. time. Me and my friends went cliff jumping at South Point. Okay, so you know what I mean. South Point on the Big Island. Yeah, yep. yeah. South Point and the Green Sand is beautiful. Beach is beautiful too. Yep. 
I went to South Point because that's the uh, furthest South Point in the United States. Yes. Yeah. Wow. And, and I've been to the furthest North Point in the United States, which is Point Barrow. Yikes. Alaska. So I had to, <laughs> I had to book in those. That's the one. We'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> How, yeah, how high mm -hmm. up is it? That oh, looks like a good jump. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so see? Yeah. No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I, d I didn't even bother asking how high it was. You just, you just went jumping. <laughs> you just jumped. Yeah. Oh, you can say that you've uh, jumped off the southernmost point in the United States. Mm -hmm. That is pretty cool. Into shark infested it, waters. I know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're right. Honestly, I'm yeah. Kidding. It's shark infested. Yeah. <laughs> It's one of those oh, things. Yeah. Not. What? <laughs> Are you being serious? <laughs> but the good thing is, what? we have never. I have never seen a shark over there. You, you want me to jump forty <laughs> feet into shark-infested water? That sounds like one of those cartoons. There's going to be a shark at the bottom with its mouth like this. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Thinking about it now. Wow. <laughs> I will consider this. <laughs> oh boy. There's lots of other less shark infested things yeah. to do on Big Island too. <laughs> so. <laughs> you should do some snorkeling though. There's lots yeah, of there's oh, green, there's green turtles are yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. What beach really was that again? Oh. Uh, there's a place near Kailuakona uh, just down the road from there called Two Step. Oh that's, yes, there that's you a, go. Yeah, a right. Really good. Uh, it's a public park uh, and uh, a really good place. So there's several public beaches uh, up around the White Kloa area and north of there. I can't remember the name, um, but there's lots of opportunities for beaches. Mostly black sand beach and cor and, uh, and lava beaches, but there's a few sand beaches and too, and good places to snorkel. Lava tube trail. <gasps> Okay. Oh, that's a good one. I have not um, been there. Yeah, in the Waikoloa area, there's a thing called King's Road. Uh, that's a trail through the lava fields. I've hiked that. Uh, that's pretty cool. You get there's petroglyphs uh, oh my God. chiseled into the into the lava. Oh, and it looks just like so much to see. It looks just like the bottom of the sea bottom that we see here, oh, except wow. that you're walking through it. Yeah, there's uh, there's uh, pillow lava and fractured lobate and. Uh, looks just like the stuff we've been seeing on the seafloor. Yeah, you have so many options <laughs> for a week. <laughs> I'm not going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> like, it will be the middle of the night and I will be doing one of these hikes because <laughs> there's so many. <laughs> The sulfur banks. Wow. What's happening? Yeah. 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 Yeah, we do chat. We do have birds um, around the ship called boobies, right? Mm hmm. Lots mm -hmm. of boobies. Still looking up options? Yeah, I'm looking into the haiku stairs. Oh, oh. I've heard, heard some things. Mm -hmm. You gonna try it? Um, 
if I can. It's not jump over. Jules, do you scuba dive? I do not. I wish. There's some really great dive sites uh, oh. around too, and uh, my favorite dive shop is uh, Jack's Dive Locker in Kailua Kona. They do a nighttime Mata drive. Oh it's, yeah. My brother did it and told me all about it. That sounds amazing. We're going to Palau next year. Palau. Yeah. Palau. Oh wow. Yeah. Is that the one where they have the bay full of jellyfish? Yeah. Yeah, Jellyfish Lake. Jellyfish Lake. Yeah. Non-stinging jellyfish. Like. You gonna go swimming? Them. Wow. In that lake. Take lots, huh? of pic <laughs> take lots of pictures. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's kind of cool, Jellyfish Lake. It's anoxic if you go down like just like six feet or something. It's like really toxic. Because hmm. all the leaves and stuff fall into the lake. Best scuba diving in the world there. So for scuba diving, what's the most interesting place you guys have dived? Palau. <laughs> Palau? <laughs> I've been yeah. Oh, Robert, you've been there already. I've been there already. <laughs> what? I did it on my own, too. All right, you don't really? get to go. Yeah, we <laughs> what? To Guam to Palau on one of our trips. I spent a week there. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was awesome. We're supposed to be going to Wake Island as well. I don't know if we'll make landfall there, but yeah. we're going to do some mapping and dives. Cool. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm going as fast as I can. Which is how fast? 20? Yeah. No tether wraps, right? Nope. That's good. At this rate, we'll be on the surface snorkeling with sharks. Mm-hmm. I'm caged. Hmm? I'm caged. Uncaged. Ooh. How long are you going to be in Hawaii again? <laughs> no, just one night. I'll be... Oh, okay. I, I'm just going to... I'm at Ala Moana. I'll be okay. cruising around, getting some last-minute shopping done. Nice. Okay. Wow, you guys are going... Oh. I was going to say, if you want to join. No, well, I would. Don't forget to post. I'll be following. Yeah, absolutely. I will probably post an annoying amount. <laughs> <laughs> the more, the better. I, I live through that. <laughs> Abstract. So Dave, uh, you've got five zero minutes to submit something for the art gallery. Do we, hey. all have to, do we all have it's to all submit? Done. It's already done. <laughs> already done? Yeah. Already done. Are you willing to share with the group? No, I, I have to get it off the printer in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. It, it's got to be on a post-it, though. It'll be the size of a post-it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ooh, nice. It, that Ooh. is a cuskill. Yeah. 
Oh, yay. What is this? An art contest? Oh, uh, we yeah. have a gallery. We have an art gallery, yeah. Dwight. Well, uh, actually, okay. we, art got, exposition. we got our viewers um, tuning in saying they really want to see <laughs> the pictures on Instagram. Post -it notes. They want to see the pictures. Where's oh Megan? God. Maybe maybe Megan can do a uh, Instagram story. Oh, Robert submitted something. What do we have here? It's a rock. <laughs> a rock? <laughs> can you sign it, please? <laughs> Robert, can you sign Adam it? Adam will be very proud. And maybe a description as well for the folks who don't understand. <laughs> a little salt. A little did salt anybody rock. draw bathy bathy uh, pathies? Wait, bathy wait, pathies? Wait, yeah, I did draw it. one. Oh yeah. yeah. I drew a bathy pathy. Oh, we have bit, rock. Yes. Okay. These are all yours. No, I don't know <laughs> who's that. I think Jules, do you have blank paper? Really gotta sign it. What is it? A blank canvas paper. Do I have a blank one? Yeah. 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 Do you need do one? I like draw that one. purple anemone that we saw. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, I have oh. to draw something? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you can this draw the blue one. Everyone has to contribute. Yeah. Yes. I'm signing it for you now if you won't do it. <laughs> so what kind of rock did Bob draw? Um, a <laughs> horrifying one. I'm going to make mine one. different. <laughs> it's, an, it's an urchin, though. <laughs> <laughs> So, Samantha, we have yeah. some submissions from previous watches. Ooh. They got really creative. Yeah, I don't know. This is, this is very creative. There's Robert's. Deep by the end. <laughs> what? Oh, was it the minesweeper? No. Oh, he turned it into an urchin. <laughs> Pretty urchin. Joy sees it. You know, he, he appreciates yeah. fine art when he sees it. I think that's our goal, you know, that by the end of our cruise, the entire wall would be filled with Oh, these with are great. Post it. Oh, this squat lobster looks like Mothman. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. Are you getting inspiration from yeah, the guy? Yeah, no, I, um, I have to copy something. I'm going to need a bigger door. You should do a sea star. Ooh, coral mushroom. I saw one earlier. I put it in the sit rep. A drying mushroom coral? A mushroom coral. Oh, look up anthemastus. Yeah. Oh, you okay? can Math tis? No, math. Oh, Dave's going to his art studio. <laughs> A-N-T-H-O-M-A-S-T-U-S. Oh, that's one of my favorites. I love those corals. Yeah, that's what I wanted to draw. Yeah. <laughs> Neat. Yeah, they're cool. It's hard to draw, though. Jeez. <laughs> you picked a hard one. <laughs> this is going to haunt my dreams tonight. <laughs> These are so great. I love this. Oh, Dave's back from his art studio. Are you drawing? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> He's up to something. <laughs> He's got lights on. I will say that Loopy just suggested a um, drawing competition between watches. Oh. Oh. Mm. I think that's a good idea. It's a possibility. I mean, it's a good idea. It's happening, but we don't have them lined up by watches up here, I guess. So we could we could start separating them out. That's a good idea. Hey, Samantha, from yeah. chat, what is a sailboat naturalist? Oh. Uh, it's for you. Someone read my bio. Um.